Well, so we got to take this problem on. And it said um, you have to find this perimeter of this figure. And it told you to use the Pythagorean theorems to figure it out. And then one of the hints was draw your triangles on the inside or the outside. And I hope you figured out that we need to draw our triangles on the outside. So I'm going to go ahead and try to draw my triangles. So I have there's one because I know that there's a 90 in that corner right there. So I'm going to draw my second triangle. And I know I have a 90 with that one as well. And then I draw my third triangle. Now, I don't need to draw a triangle on the top because when I count my... I don't need to draw my triangle on the top because my line there I know is two segments long. So I can go ahead and write my number two in there. So I already know that. I have two plus something. Um, what I want you to do now is write your formulas for the Pythagorean theorem for each of these triangles. I'm going to have you pause your video and then turn your video back on and we'll compare our uh, answers. So pause your video now and write those formulas. Okay, when you look at this now, um, here are the three triangles that we have. We have 1 squared plus 3 squared equals c squared. That is this triangle right here. We have 1 squared plus 4 squared equals c squared. That is the bottom triangle right here. And then we have 1 squared plus 2 squared. That is the triangle on the left. Now if you remember, the side opposite the right angle is the hypotenuse. So this is what we're doing. We're finding the length of that line. Side opposite of the right angle is the hypotenuse. So that will give us the measurement of this line here. Side opposite of the hypotenuse will give us the measure of this line here. Those three lines, when we add them up with the, the two that we already know, will give us the perimeter of this figure. All right, now your job is to solve for each of these lines. I want you to come up with the answer. And remember, your problem said to round your answer to the nearest tenths place. So these three equations, please solve them. Pause your video now, and then turn your video back on, and you'll see my solutions. We are back, and I've got my c squared part set up. So for the first triangle, I need to find the square root of 10. So I'm using my calculator, and the square root of 10 is 3.16, and it goes on. I need to round that to 3.2. 3.2. Okay, the square root is 17. I plug that into my calculator and I get 4.123 and it goes on. That one is just 4.1 rounded to the nearest tenths. And the final one, I need to find the square root of 5, so I plug that into my calculator and I get 2.2360 and it goes on. That's going to remain 2.2. .2. Okay. So I need to take these three numbers, taking those three numbers that I have here, and add it to this number there. If I do that front end addition, I get 2 plus 3 is 5, plus 4 is 9, plus 2 more is 11. Whoops, let me switch back to my pen. So when I do that partitive addition, I have 11 when I added the front end of those numbers up. Put the point, point, two tenths, one tenth, two tenths is five tenths. The perimeter of my shape is 11.5 units. All right, watch this video as many times as it takes until you understand how to do this problem.